Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is Mr. Johnson from McGregor Elementary School coming at you again. Um, you haven't had a reel out in a while. Uh, it's been a little, quite a few days now. And I thought I'd come back with a, uh, with a picture book read aloud uh, that's kind of perfect for this particular time. Uh, it's called Come With Me. The author is Holly M. McGee and it's illustrated by Pascal Lemaitre. Now, um, in some regards, it's kind of sad that, that there's actually a picture book that's perfect for this time. Um, but at the same time, I'm glad that it exists in this world. The book, again, is Come With Me. And as we kind of go through it, you'll kind of see what I mean about it being a really good message for where we are today. Come With Me. Says all over the world, the news told and told and retold of anger and hatred, people against people. And the little girl was frightened by everything she heard and saw and felt. She asked her papa if there was something that she could do to make the world a better place. Her papa said, come with me. Hand in hand, they walked out the door to the subway. Waiting there on the platform, her papa tipped his hat to those that he met. So the little girl did that too. They rode the train through the tunnels and the underground. The girl and her papa were brave and kind. And that day, they won a tiny battle over fear for themselves and for the people of the world. The news kept telling of anger and hatred. And the little girl asked her mama what she could do to make the world a better place. Her mama said, come with me. They went to their grocery to buy some things for dinner. Because you see, one person doesn't represent a family or a race or the people of a land. Her mama cooked and the girl set the table piece by piece just as she'd always done. Plate in the middle, knife and spoon to the right, fork on the left, napkin by its side, and a water glass. Hmm. The little girl sat with her mama and her papa and they all ate together. Her dog nuzzled her under the table. She scratched his head. I want to do something of my own, she said. Can I walk the dog? Her parents looked at each other. They looked worried. And they looked at their child and they let her go. 
and sent a message to the rest of the world that they would not live in fear. And when the little girl opened the door, the boy across the hall opened his door too. Where are you going? He asked. The little girl said, come with me, because two people together are stronger than one. The girl, the boy, and the dog were happy to be out. One step at a time, they understood what they could do to make the world a better place. They could go on. Brave, gentle, strong, and kind to one another and all living things. As tiny as that may seem, as tiny as it may have been, their part mattered to the world. Your part matters too. Come with me. Now, this book was actually written in response to the things that happened after uh, 9-11 in 2001 but it's just as applicable in a lot of ways to today, where a lot of people are watching a lot of things on the news, watching people fight, watching things happening that are seemingly beyond their control. But the reality is, we can all do our part. In this case, it was simply understanding that life goes on and you have to live it. But the better message towards the end is, life goes on and you have to live it, but it's better lived together, reaching your hand out to care for others and to do our small part each day. Very powerful story in a very short period of time. Remember, love, understanding, empathy, they all come from listening to one another. And sometimes we need to do more of that, listening instead of talking. It starts there. Then there's understanding. I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope you take care of yourselves. Get out there and do your part. Make the world a better place today than it was yesterday by doing your part. Thanks, everybody.